making a video today that I really did not see myself making this year. I, like many, many people around the world, was incredibly saddened by the very sudden news of Shabadoo's death. I'm making it because I would like to share my story about the Shabadoo that I knew, albeit for a very short period of time, and just tell people how we came to be friends and actually work together for a very short period. As much as it still feels really unbelievable and you know sometimes like it hasn't even sunk in. I want this video to be a celebration of who he was and it's going to be followed by a short tribute that I think is very fitting to him. So if you subscribe to my channel or even if you don't you might have seen that in September I made a video called Break In the Hidden Gem of the 80s dance movie phenomenon and I called it a hidden gem because for someone you know, of my generation, I'm 25, Break-In is not a mainstream film from the 80s. I'm comparing it to films like Dirty Dancing and Footloose and Flashdance, all films that I love, but Break-In doesn't have that same status, even though it's the best out of all of them. And I made the video because I started making YouTube videos a bit more regularly, you know, once we went into lockdown and I had a lot of spare time and I started making some video essays and I really wanted to make one on Breakin' that just kind of summed up how I felt about the film and just kind of put a spotlight on the things that I think make it really amazing and just kind of be a little bit of a tribute to a film that I love so much. And what I decided to do was dedicate it to my mum for her birthday. And something we've always really bonded over is dance movies. Our favourites are probably Staying Alive and definitely Breaking. And I can't remember exactly when my mum showed me Breaking for the first time, but I remember her telling me how much she loved it and what a big film it was when she was younger and how people were out break dancing on the streets and she told me she used to carry around a boom box on her shoulder which is really funny. I just love it more and more every time we watch it and there'd be times we'd sit down to watch a film and we'd just be like should we watch Breaking? and we just watch Breaking again and genuinely the more I watched it the more I loved it just the music the dancing the setting I love it so much so it felt like a really fitting tribute you know, to the film and to my mum to kind of honour this gift that she'd given me in the film um, by dedicating the video to her. And so on her birthday, I gave her a t-shirt with Turbo and Ozone on it and I showed her the video and she loved it. And after that, I shared it in the We Love Break in the Movie fan group on Facebook. I didn't expect anything from this. I just wanted to post it so people could watch it and I got such a lovely response and people really liked the video and it was just so nice that people liked it. That evening my mum was in bed and I see on the Facebook group that Shabadoo himself has shared the video. I didn't have Shabadoo as a friend on Facebook. I didn't even know he had Instagram, so I didn't even follow him. And I was so, so excited. And he captioned it for those who believe in the beat. I commented on it and I just said, thank you so much for sharing my video. And I was really excited. So it was like, oh my God, I can't wait to tell my mum when she wakes up. And then he liked my comment and it was like, oh my God, he liked my comment. So it just like added another layer of excitement to the whole thing. And then it just kind of spiralled. I'm laying in bed that night just on my phone and I refresh my email and I have an email from someone called Robert and Robert is Shabadoo's manager. So I read over the email really quickly, sort of in disbelief, and Robert basically says, Hi Holly, you know, Shabadoo saw your video and he loved it and you know, we'd love to set up a Zoom call to talk about future collaborations. I was so happy, you know, I didn't know what collaborations meant but just the recognition and just to know that he had watched it and he liked it meant so much to me. And then, as if that wasn't enough, Shabadoo adds me on Facebook. Then Shabadoo sends me a wave and I send him a wave back and he says, hope to speak with you soon. And I said, just got back to your manager and um, hope to speak to you soon as well. And he said, yeah, you just told me. So this was so surreal and just so exciting. All of this is going on while my mum is in bed and I'm just bursting with excitement. I just really, really want to tell her. And I messaged her saying, oh my God, mum, I wish I come and wake you up I have so much to tell you basically it involves me and Shabadoo speaking so when I tell her in the morning I'm like 
first Shabu shares my video, then he likes my comment, then I get an email and it was just like piling on all this news and it was just so funny telling her and it was just, oh, it was such a great memory and just, you know, I just felt like no matter what happens after that, I'd just be so happy with that alone. And, you know, he was so nice and he said to me, I've seen a lot of videos like that over the years, but I thought yours was exceptional and he said, it really captured the spirit of the film and he said that no one else had really understood it in the way that I did and I'm there like <sighs> trying not to die. It was just really kind of validating and a reminder that when you do things because you love it and it's your passion and you don't do it expecting results sometimes good things do come out of that and so basically in short what Shabadoo told me was he was setting up a digital studio and he wanted to create content you know video content and make mini documentaries about his life and the lockers and break in and just quite similar to what I had made. My background is journalism and I was freelancing and I was like yeah I can take on more work and I can definitely take it on for you absolutely. And so we got to know each other quite a lot over a few months and we spoke nearly every day. We got one documentary made, it's only 10 minutes, it's about his life and I hope when the time is right I will share it. So there's several stages and I'm writing the script and he's reading it and editing it and all that kind of stuff. So we we're talking so much and he would always send me voice notes. It's obviously sad listening to them but it's just a real reminder for me of, of that really nice time when we were just working tirelessly on this. Oh yeah, can you send me the uh, credit uh, that we talked about that you would have? Like, I forgot what it was. Content something. I, I have too many things in my head but if you could text it to me I'd appreciate it. So I'll give you a proper credit. Okay. And he would always say, say hello to your mom because, you know, he knew that she was the reason I was a fan of the film and she was pretty much the reason that we were working together. I really appreciate you, Holly. Without your, your guidelines and outline, I wouldn't have been able to add the muscle. Or well, maybe I would have been able to add the muscle, but certainly not at the level that I did with this uh, revision. Again, I, I want to say thank you and I appreciate your, your support, your passion and, and loving care uh, regarding this uh, important documentary. Again, say hello to your mama. I'm so grateful that we got the documentary finished and when it was finished and I said it's been so fun and everything, he, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to working on more stuff in the future, he said, yeah, we will, we're family now. Both him and Robert, the moment I was kind of on board and working towards this vision that they had you know they made me feel so welcome and it's hard working on a project for someone that is so personal to them and you know the way that people give feedback is very important and he was always very good at giving feedback and you know you could tell he had directing experience and he was just very good at verbalising what he wanted while also being really complimentary of what had already been done. Throughout this time, I had so many phone calls and texts and Zooms with him. Throughout this whole time, I'd never got to introduce him to my mum and I did that on purpose because I wanted their meeting to be perfect and I waited till we finished the first video and I said to him, would you come onto my YouTube channel to be interviewed, you know, interview him about his life and career and break in and then at the end of it could we surprise my mum and just bring her up into my room and and then he's on the laptop and he said you know yeah of course we never got to do that and I emailed him mid-December asking for a testimonial for my website about my work and he gave a very nice message and said um, I plan to work with her again soon and in that email he said yes he's still up for doing the interview but he needs a bit more time because he was in the final kind of stages of setting up the studio and that was the last time we spoke. Throughout this whole time that I knew Shabadoo, I could never fully comprehend that this was Shabadoo from Breakin. I kind of saw them as two different people and could never bring them together. And while I was working on the documentary for him, I would just be watching Breakin clips completely independently of when I was working on it just because I love them so much and it's something I've always done whenever I'm feeling a bit like meh I just I watch clips from like my favorite films and Breaking was always always on there and I'd be watching them like 
this is the guy, this is the guy that I can just text, like this is the guy I can just call. And so when I got the news that Shabadoo had apparently passed away, I was completely in disbelief. It came from Tony Basil's account, which was unverified. It looked like fake news and obviously he posted like just the day before and everyone was in disbelief. And when someone famous dies, of course the world is collectively mourning for them and they're mourning their childhood hero or they're thinking about what an impact they had on them and I found myself in this incredibly surreal and unbelievable situation where this legend who I had become friends with and worked with and spoke to nearly every day for at least a month had suddenly passed away and you know seeing the news and all of these huge news outlets writing about his death the place I used to work wrote about him dying and people I followed on Instagram were posting about it like Ice T and Brian Friedman the choreographer and Twitch from the Ellen show just seeing his picture posted because people were mourning him someone who literally for two months before this had been at the other end of a phone call for me or i was texting all the time you know i'd wake up and to voice messages and texts from him and then the whole world was collectively mourning him and it was really hard for me to comprehend and understand it was so sad and of course it really hurt and i got to know shabadoo at a time obviously that was hard for everyone you know the pandemic cancelled plans and cancelled dreams. It was just so nice to do something that I will remember forever and the short time that I knew him personally I'll always remember and I'll really cherish. Shabadoo really believed in me and he really talked up my abilities and even when I sent him my bio, my professional bio that was going to go on the website he said I was so talented and the plans that he had and you know Break dancing just got added to the Olympics. He was talking about going and reporting and so many plans. It fills me with a lot of comfort knowing that Shabadoo went to bed that night with so much motivation and determination to get up and keep working and pursue this goal that he had set for himself in this period of his life. He achieved more in his life than so many people ever ever will but he was still setting new goals still making new plans i could identify with it a lot in that in my evenings i spend a lot of time doing things that are my passion you know running my own website making videos writing articles you know things that i don't make any money for things that i just do because it's my passion and in a time where everything is so uncertain and you really have to live in the moment and just find enjoyment and passion in the everyday. Kind of really felt a connection with his goals and I just felt like it really aligned with the things that I believe in. And so while things got cut short and, you know, plans were made that will never be filled, it was just a reminder to me that there really is no time like the present. And not only that, but it's about the journey as well. Looking forward to and working towards something and being passionate about something is just as good as the end result. And it's exactly why I went and made that break in video to start with, because I enjoy the process. It was never to get anything out of it. And you know, there's no doubt that Shabadoo has gone down in history as pioneer in break dance and an innovator and just an absolute legend in that community and around the world. All that's left to do now is really honour his legacy and just remember him for who he was. This is just my story. This is just a little blip in time, just a very short period that I knew him, but he had a huge impact on me and it's something I'll always remember. And so I wanted to make this video to kind of tell people a bit more about the kind of person he was if you didn't know him personally and I'm going to finish this video with a short tribute to Shabadoo. So in one of our Zoom calls when I was writing the script for the documentary I asked him if there were any particular musicians or singers or bands that had really influenced him when he was growing up and he told me three people Soul Sister number one Aretha Franklin, Soul Brother number one James Brown and Curtis Mayfield. I hope that this tribute reminds you of just what an amazing life Shabadoo had. While we are so sad to have lost him so early, a life well lived is long enough, as they say. So I hope you enjoy this short tribute to the 
undisputed godfather of street dance. Hush not child and don't cry Your folks might understand you by and by Just move on up toward your destination Though you may find from time to time complication Just a move on. 